Uh, I'm saying bye to all the lies and all the times you cried saying that I wasn't right. If you're looking for a great place to buy your toys, Co-Kiss has a great range of figures, including your favorite ones from Haya toys like Godzilla, King Ghidorah, the female Muto. Get 6% off and all your purchases with my discount code. Use Ruby Co-Kiss to get all your favorite figures much cheaper than anywhere else with fast shipping. Link in the description down below. This also means you don't have to wait for those long releases from the US. You can get everything much faster and exactly the same time that Haya Toys releases their figures from their end. So what are you waiting for? Use the link in the description, apply the code to get everything much cheaper. It's highly recommended. Thank you for watching the video. Hello everybody, there was an article that dropped today with a lot of details regarding the Godzilla Evolve from SH Monster Arts and I think it's interesting. So let's get right into the video and with the information. It says, based on the 3D data used in the film, the figure Godzilla Evolve version has been completely redesigned from the previous release. Under the prototype, coloring, and sculpting production of Yuji Sakai, the new figure is a completely new modeling of the figure that was enhanced in the movie. From here on, we will be introducing some newly taken photos from the latest factory samples currently in development showcasing the improved design and movement of the product. The highlight of this product is its wide range of motion. Pay attention to the range of motion that allows you to recreate various active movements, such as the powerful running scene in the movie. The tail has a wide range of motion, making it possible to recreate that memorable scene from the movie. The neck has a wide range of motion, now, some things had to be changed with the translation. I don't think some of them were meant to be like that. I would have changed them. But anyways, yeah, they pretty much go on to showcase and obviously tell us that this isn't the final product, that what you're seeing are just a sample prototype test of what the final product could look like. And I think the most important thing that we can take away from this is they emphasize a lot of articulation, meaning that their main focus was really articulation and making sure that this wasn't a reuse model. Unlike the previous versions of Godzilla from the legendary version, this is a completely redesigned figure from the ground up, 100% original, 100% new parts. It's not using old parts like some of the previous versions and that is something that they want you to completely understand and that it's also sculpted by the famous Yuji Sakai, which he is very, very known for making such accurate figures with high details and obviously his attention to everything that he does with his designs, his own style. Another important key factor here is articulation. Going back to that point, they want to make sure that you can recreate all the scenes that you saw in the movie, especially those running scenes, especially of him looking up side to side they want you to understand that this figure is going to have crazy amount of articulation throughout his body and the attention to detail is going to be there with that being said what do you think about this information this is new to monster arts they don't really showcase any prototype figures or test runs like that to the public so i do appreciate that coming from them and i gotta say the figure looks fantastic like that you can really see how much they upgraded the articulation compared to the 2019 and beyond. Let's get the obvious out of the way. I know you saw it. I saw this right away. It's not going to bother the traditional people that don't care about, you know, Godzilla so much. Is it going to be a big deal for the hardcore Godzilla fans? Probably. Yes, there's lines on the sculpture, specifically on the head area. Does that bother me? Not really. Will it bother you? It's up to you. You know, it's just something that naturally happens in the factory. Most figures do have that. And is this something that can be improved? Definitely. It just depends if they're going to focus on removing those lines. If I recall correctly, the original Haya Toys from Godzilla 2019 and 2021, I believe, has the exact same problem or issue. This was actually corrected with their updated version where you 
see those lines less are they still visible of course they are you know it's hard to remove them it's something that naturally happens with all factories on most of the figures now another concern would be the teeth they don't look sharp enough so i doubt that the final version is going to be any better i'll give you some advice right now keep your expectations low for this figure if it comes out to be as fantastic as what we see right now or the prototype images that's great because that means they delivered a fantastic godzilla evolve but yes keep your expectations low to not be disappointed especially with the eyes the teeth and the paint job you know it's always going to be a mystery box with those figures but out of all the figures i think godzilla evolve would be the best one i'm not saying that all of them are terrible you know to each your own opinion on what you think about those figures now another new image that got revealed would be all four main characters together so this would give us an official look of how all figures are going to stack up together in terms of size and length judging by this image yes indeed shimu is going to be the biggest figure and in terms of length also godzilla is almost right on par with shimu scar king and kong seem to stack up okay from the official information we do know that scar king is going to be a little bit taller than kong kong would be the smallest figure out of all four figures the tallest and longest would probably be shimu coming at second place would be godzilla coming at third place is scar king uh in the previous video i gave you guys the official height information for all figures to give you more information on that, Scar King stands at 5.9 inches tall, Kong 5.7, Godzilla Evolve 6.3, Shimu is between 7.9 or 7 inches tall, and that is on all fours. Standing up, she would be much taller, and you can definitely tell by this image if you were to put Shimu standing on all fours, two legs, she is going to be the biggest figure probably from this line and now another thing that people seem to not understand is there is a difference between all figures not all figures are going to be 100 percent accurate some of them are some of them are based on concept art or are taking inspiration second point do not confuse 3d data or data as the company using 3d printers the way they work and produce figures is a totally different method from us and they also use sculptors sometimes everything is done by hand and it's a lot of things that they have to go through especially yuji sakai you know he takes his time point number three that a lot of people seem to also get this confused just because somebody like yuji sakai sculpts a figure does not mean that the final product will represent what he has done for example he might have sculpted godzilla 2014 evolve beautifully in person right he gave that model to sh monster art for them to go to the factories and produce the figure sometimes factories have errors those errors are not occurring on the original figure the original figure can be in perfect condition that does not mean it is accurate to what the factory version has done that is why you see those seam lines i can guarantee you that you're not going to see those lines on the original figure that yuji sakai sculpted on this image there's one thing that stands out it's godzilla's dorsal plates they appear to be translucent well on the prototype figure they're not i don't remember if this was officially confirmed by monster arts if they are translucent or not but if they are that would be a nice touch because it looks awesome like this in this photo shimu too she has those translucent crystals very nice touch uh that's the one thing that i do appreciate on the monster arts version compared to the haya but again it is based on the concept art i don't think it's the worst figure but i do understand why there is a lot of backlash coming especially from this figure if you look at this figure it appears like there's going to be more articulation compared to the previous legendary version look at the legs there's more articulation around the knees on the tips and especially on the elbows arms the chest area so overall yes 
If it is true what Monster Arts is saying, this will probably be the most articulated Godzilla figure that we have seen yet coming from them. The overall poses that they have been showcasing look incredible. I'm not saying that the original cannot do that, but it does have a hard time, you know, running or just doing poses like that. So overall with this figure, it seems to be able to accomplish a lot of the scenes that we saw in the movie and that is a good thing. Analyzing the figure in this photo, you can see that it's not having any issues tilting sideways, falling all over the place. The original, if you try to do this, and I'm talking about the very original legendary version, it's going to fall over. Having the tail, you know, pose like this, going straight and then going upwards is nearly impossible without balancing issues. Now, the original Kong also had a lot of balancing issues from what I've seen. The updated Kong 2024 version is a much better figure in terms of articulation and the paint job. My overall thoughts with this line so far is they look excellent. The best one would be Godzilla Evolve. The only thing holding me back from purchasing any of them would probably be the price point and that is a lot of us. A lot of us do not agree with what the price point is offering in value and return to us the customers, especially when we're talking about Shimu and other things that people do not agree with. Now the last thing is don't feel bad for not purchasing those figures. If anything, I've learned that patience is key for everything in life. Don't rush into something you're not sure about in life. Look, from experience, we know that Monster Arts and other companies always deliver the best figures towards the end of the year or later on. How many times have we seen these special color variants or other variants come out and people say, damn it, I just wasted so much money. This is the version that we were supposed to get from the very beginning and I do agree. That is it for the video guys. I would appreciate it if you could share the video, like and comment. That tells YouTube that you are enjoying my content and it helps other people explore this channel and discover other content creators like me doing videos like this giving you guys information my thoughts so thank you guys for watching so much i would appreciate if all of that is done i'll catch you guys next time